Windows computers are complicated, which means that any user could run into tens of thousands of different problems as they use them. Some people might have problems with their software, while others might have problems with their hardware. The problem we're having today could be caused by a glitch or bug in the software or by a broken piece of hardware. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, check the BIOS settings. If you get a CPU fan error when your computer starts up, it will probably tell you to access the BIOS settings and check the fan settings from there. To open your BIOS, follow these steps. Open the Windows Settings menu. Select Update and Security. Select Recovery from the left menu. Click Restart Now under Advanced Startup. Click Troubleshoot. Click Advanced Options. Select UEFI Firmware Settings. If you don't see this icon, then press Startup Settings instead. When your PC is restarting, tap F1 or other keys depending on the brand to access the BIOS. Select UEFI Firmware Settings. Click Restart. Next, check the fan settings. If your Windows computer was working normally before the CPU fan error showed up, you might need to change some software settings to fix it. This means that there might not be a serious problem with the hardware that needs to be fixed right away. You can change your fan settings right now by going to the Advanced Settings menu in your BIOS. Next, avoid overclocking. Even though some CPUs are made to be overclocked, it can sometimes shorten the life of other parts, especially the fan. Overclocking can also cause the CPU temperature to rise, which can cause problems if your computer doesn't have the right ways to get rid of heat. Next, move your computer to another location. You might be able to fix this problem by moving your computer tower or laptop to a cool, dry place. If your computer is in a dusty or warm place, you must do this. Next, clean the CPU fans. If there is too much dust, it can cause hardware to break. You can open up your computer and look inside to see if the blades of the CPU fan are covered in thick dust or dirt. If you need to clean the fan blade, try soaking a cotton swab in isopropyl alcohol. Make sure not to use too much alcohol, which could fall into the CPU and hurt it. Do not use water or any kind of cleaner to get rid of dust or dirt, as that could hurt the CPU or other nearby parts. You can also use canned air or compressed air to blow the dust away and see if that makes the CPU fan work as it should. Next, have your PC checked by a technician. For some unlucky users, the main reason they get the CPU fan error message is because of a total hardware failure, which means that either the CPU fan has stopped working or the whole computer has stopped working. If none of the things in this guide work, you might want to have a professional check your computer to fix the CPU fan error. There's a chance that the CPU fan is broken or needs to be changed. Since your CPU won't work if the fan doesn't work, your computer is pretty much useless and needs to be fixed. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.